A family and a community continues to mourn over a fallen Lafayette soldier. Sergeant Kyle Osborne's family is in Dover, Maryland today and will receive his remains tomorrow. News Channel 18's Kelly Roberts sat down with the Army Sergeant and McCutcheon grad's family where they remembered the brother and son they're so proud of. The United States of America and the Army regret to inform you that your son was killed today, this day, 24th of the in the small arms gun battle in Afghanistan. The words Craig Osborne, his wife Krista, and their children, Cade and Caitlin, will never forget. The words delivered by an Army chaplain Thursday night, letting them know their son, stepson, and brother, 26-year-old Sergeant Kyle Osborne, a member of the United States Army, made the ultimate sacrifice on the front lines. But as a family mourns, they remember the good times they had with him in the countryside of Tippecanoe County. I remember when I was a little kid and Caitlin was riding a foil with Kyle and he did a two-wheelie. <laughs> and it went like this and Kyle, Caitlin was on it and her face was really pretty much hilarious. <laughs> Craig describes his son as fiercely loyal, someone who touched the lives of many from Tippecanoe County to Louisiana and Italy, and even a little place called Black Duck, Minnesota. Team in Black Duck, Minnesota, and had never hadn't won a game in four years. They did a moment of silence for Kyle in Black Duck, Minnesota, and, and uh, dedicated a game to him in Black Duck, Minnesota, and they won. In fact, it, all the way to Black Duck, Minnesota, a very, very small community, he touched lives there. Although it's not known when Sergeant Osborne will be buried, in his last will and testament, he requested he be buried in Tippecanoe County at Yorktown Cemetery next to his grandfather. Kyle's been gone so long uh, 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 from college, the military. In our minds, he's just gone, and we can't it's hard to get our heads wrapped around the fact that he's dead, that he's been killed. I think that when his remains are finally brought back here and we're able to be close to him, I think that'll be a start for closure. And although his son is gone, Craig says he knows his personality will live on through his siblings. His loyalty to his friends and his family, his determination, his want to succeed and not fail. Uh, to be a valuable part of the community and to get back and these two kids are well on their way. Kelly Roberts, News Channel 18.